outside schools is done responsibly. And we have many yellow lines placed outside of schools and parents still parking illegally and irresponsibly in the side roads and around school. How do you envisage the pilot scheme allowing teachers to take on parking enforcement to tackle and solve the problem? Okay, so in terms of parking, from September, the school gate enforcement pilot at Tilbury Pioneer Academy will give appropriately trained and equipped members of the school community the power to issue fixed penalty notices to motorists flouting parking restrictions outside schools. Up until now, school enforcement had to be undertaken by Thorrock's small team of enforcement officers who had to spread their resources across all the schools in the borough. I hope that the daily enforcement that the new pilot scheme will provide will provide effective deterrent. And hopefully in the future, if based on the pilot, we should hopefully be able to roll it out to the school. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you for that answer. Just um, the pilot scheme at the moment only includes five schools. How long before all schools will be included? Also, why only one secondary school has joined in with the first pilot scheme? Okay, so I think I did say this in my question, but I, I am aware of why you might have thought it was involving five schools. So we invited all schools in the borough to take part in the trial. Tilbury Pioneer was the only school in a position at the time to commit the necessary time and effort. Uh, should the trial prove a success, we do hope that other schools will take, take up the opportunity at a later date. Personally, it's something that I'd like to see at every school, but obviously we have to work with the schools on that. We have to show them that there's a real benefit to the school as well as the local community. September, and if any tickets were issued, and um, I don't expect you to have the answer tonight, but if you could let us know how it's going, thank you. Question two, Councillor Lewis, if you like your second question, please search out on page 61 of the agenda. Thank you, Madam Mayor. The unlawful grazing of horses on council land, including some children's fairings, and also many other parts of Thurrock, can you inform the Chamber what, if any, revenue this brings to Thurrock Council, or if not, what action is being taken to stop this? Councillor Red Self had a question. So, Thurrock Council does receive a small amount of income from granting grazing licences on some of its land, but that's legal grazing. So, because your question is about unauthorised grazing, I'd like to inform the Chamber that where the Council is aware of this happening on its land, and where there is a health and safety or financial risk, the owners of the horses are requested to remove them. If the owner is not known, a notice is displayed in the area stating that the horses must be removed. Until recently, there hasn't been the need to take these further steps. In recent weeks, however, there have been increasing instances, particularly on housing and highway land. This has been especially problematic in Tilbury, and Councillor Worrell has fought really hard on this issue to find a solution. Consequently, notices will be served and a specialist contractor engaged to enforce this set of notices. This will hopefully act as a deterrent to others and give the message loud and clear that horses should not be left to graze on verges and yard parks. Thank you, Madam Mayor. You've already answered my second supplementary, so can I go on to my third? Thank you. Um, I was just going to ask about children's parks that you've you know, um, As we are, As we as a council are following, are we following up the chipping and the passporting of horses in the borough? And are any of the horses that are not chipped or um, passported on council land? Um, I don't know the exact details of that, but I can get back to you with that. Thank you. 